Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are waiting here for Owner K because it says here one minute until the eating contest has begun. I've got the wiki page open on the other screen and uh, it has a little nice walkthrough thing and there was also a comment on the previous video that says uh, the best way to do this. So it says all the foods except the mystery drink give a speed debuff that affects both run speed and eating speed. Minus one for berries, uh, minus three for mushrooms. Uh, minus 5 for eggs, minus 10 for pie, and minus 15 for bread. So you stay away from bread, um, and you try and stay with berries and mushrooms, and pie if, you know, mushrooms, uh, I'm it. Only eat pie if there's nothing else left but bread. Oh, right, and yeah, try and go for berries, obviously, and then mushrooms, and then eggs, and I've also realized, uh, we'll do that after. We'll do that thing. So, berries, mushroom, eggs. When stuff spawns, I'll be there. Do it. And another thing as well is there's a few people here you can see currently. So what I'm going to do is it actually, the first part isn't timed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until these guys, so there's no timer. So what I'm going to do is wait for these guys to kind of push over there, get through, and then we can hopefully, um, you know, deal with it. And we have very low sort of stuff. And the mystery drink as well is suggested. Oh, I might actually just go and do it now. How can I be at service? Um the mystery the mystery uh, drink is also a good plan if uh, because it has the chance of getting rid of all the debuffs. Except in that case I don't think it did. But that's not too big an issue. Because we have mushroom, eggs. Let's get over there if we can. Eat mushrooms. Uh, where is it? Talk to him. Hello there. Get over here. Is it over here or is it up here? Is it up here? I'm stuck. Berries. Come on, we might be doing well at this one. Eggs. Mushroom. Berries over here. Oh, no, I missed that one, but whatever. We can go for the berries over here, which are better anyway. Uh, oh, didn't talk to Jack. Greetings, friend. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's the f then we'll go to the fourth station, which is over here. We're ahead of everybody, so it's good. So let's see if we can do this. Come on. Ah. And these should be our five. Good. And talk to Nora. And the, I don't know where the fifth station is. It's down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's near the firsty thing. Oh my god, my screen. We can still see. Kind of. So come on, we can do this. We've got, 50, got 100, 100 seconds? No, <laughs> we've got 40 seconds. There's eggs as well. This guy, I think, is doing uh, the tidying up quest. So they're not an issue. And berries. Got interrupted because we fell. Come on, let's talk. Hello there. There we go. Oh, we have to do that eight times? I've never done that before. That's literally the first time I've ever completed that. <laughs> so we get a deeper stow to us. I will try and do that. Apparently, um... The festival ends on the 13th. Um, I think one thing said, and another said it was the 15th. I think the wiki said it was 15th, but something else said 13th. So I'm not 100% sure. And then the only thing I could find was a thing. At, oh no, I was going to say on the website, on Lotro.com, it's the old one from last year that says until February 10th. It is. If it is, then it's good. Because uh, then I can do all the, the Yule Festival stuff as well. Um, you know, with, with Mara Sandy Downs and stuff like that. But... I did also already do that today, which is why I'm a tiny bit higher level. Well, not level, but lower, lower, uh, higher XP. So tomorrow, in fact, I should be able to level up from this. But what I'm going to do now is... Uh, X that away. I need to actually look at my legendary weapons because I recently reforged this one. I haven't done any point stuff in a very long time. Uh, what we're going to do is look at our gift of the day because we haven't looked at it yet. 
three five percent attack damage for 90 minutes damn everything else around it was good i mean relics extraordinary experience madam hunters and basically 700 silver so that's kind of annoying but I, another thing i also realized is uh two days ago i did a video here where i did the uh, you know, the stuff around here, I did, uh, whatever, it's in the spirit of Yule, and I did all the participation stuff, I did that, and, yeah, I basically completed it, fine, uh, whatever with that, and then I said I was gonna unlock, unbox the, what the hell, <laughs> I said I was gonna un unbox the little pouches you get, um, I didn't do it, I forgot, and then I did it yesterday as well, while I was doing the other video, for yesterday, and then, I did it today as well. So we actually, in our inventory here, have three of these Pouch of Ilithian Essence, uh, Ithelian Essence fragments, and three Sack Presents. So I'm going to go quickly open these and see what we get. We get a two fragments, another fragment, and another fragment. So we just basically got one of those things. And 150 marks, two seals, that's pretty good, and five Yule Festival tokens, which basically is paid for... Um, the charitable spirit deed which i from what i know charitable spirit has a thing where uh if you give out a certain amount you get a title and i'm gonna have to quickly check um if ah here it is yeah such generosity donate your hard-end uh things to beggars and that gives us what do you have to do it 10 times 10 times you get 50 back so basically you just get it back um, yeah, you spend 50, you get 50, so whatever, um, but yeah, we, um, we got that already, we got, must have got that last year, I just noticed it, it was, uh, someone, I saw a post about it, and I wanted to know if I had it or not, and, uh, what I'm gonna go quickly do is check in here, in the festival theatre, how many people are in here, I don't know, it might be a good idea to, oh, there's a few people in here, so I'm actually going to, uh, I think, try this one out today. I think. I've still got all the 100% stuff, and the show begins in two minutes, so I'll see you in two minutes. We're going to try getting this done, and that'll be the two quests that we actually haven't completed here yet in a video done, and then as far as I'm aware, there are some um, quests in other locations, like the Party Tree and the Breland Festival area and stuff like that that we might go to next episode. Um, and as I said, we if, if this ends on the 13th, we have nine more days, which... Having a look at uh, this quest means we should be fine uh, for, for that. I'm pretty sure I should be on three of these, though. I'm not sure why I'm not. But we actually get two bundles, of, or two whatevers, from this one, which is actually pretty, pretty cool for when we do complete that. I don't even know what we got last time. What do we get? What do we pick up? We must have done... Or are these in here? I don't know. I'm trying to look quickly at what I picked as my item, but I can't remember. I would only have one of them, and I can't see anything. So I might have accidentally sold it for all I know, which is a bit stupid of me, but to be fair, it wasn't going to be very useful until level 105, so not too big a loss, I think. But yeah, let's wait until this is done and ready to start, and uh, We'll start the thing, and hopefully we don't have to do them, because I'm terrible at the emotes with this whole thing. Oh, here we are. Okay, that's not a good for us, I don't think. Two minutes until showtime. <sighs> right, I'm gonna. Do, I'm quickly got the uh, thing up on the um, side. I'm gonna do a little bit of research into this one, see if there's anything specific um, that we need to do other than emotes, which hopefully, I think emotes come up here like they would do with the, let's say, the cheer one where you have to cheer for the um, snow beasts or if you have to do the dancing with the any of the dancing things, but let's hope that's true and I'll see you in, in two minutes, I guess, when we're going to be doing a performance. Okay, apparently I'm going to be Bilbo. Nice. Great. <laughs> and these two look like they're AFK, so... That's going to be fun. Um, I think as long as I do my part, I should be okay. Um, I don't know if I tend this technique accounts me attending a thing. So, yeah, we'll have to see. I should get a title out of this. I think I'll get the protagonist title. Um, potentially, we'll have to see. 
You can avoid being in the play by typing AFK in your chat box. Type AFK again. Oh, I could have just done that. But, yeah. We're going to have to... Uh, uh, I hope it counts as us attending. That's the only thing I'm saying. Because if it doesn't, it's going to be really, really upsetting. Because I don't want to have to go through two when I could have just gone on one. Oh, but I am the protagonist, so if I don't have that title already, let's quickly check. Bro. I actually don't have protagonist yet, so yeah. I think you can buy them, but I don't have them on this character. I might have them on a different character. That might be what I'm thinking of. So, yeah. Okay, so I just read it, and it does say this will still count to quest completion, so gonna be a good good deal this time. Oh, that person is not AFK anymore. Seemingly. I don't know if they select the audience. I selected the audience, it's fine. The audience is just a thing. Curious disciplines some mad baggins. Oh, because I think it's because I have to do a to, uh, the emote to the audience. So I'm I'm here. I'm Mr. Bilbo. <laughs> really not the you know tallest well shortest. I'm pretty tall for a part, but you know, whatever. I don't think we have to move or anything. I just think we have to kinda click. Which makes it a bit more... Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Right, so I do have to make sure I'm paying attention though. Because... Actually, I should keep these open. Actually, I can do this. I think I can do them on stage as well, potentially. Evil Dwarf is what that is. Right. What evil plan do you have up your sleeve? Gandalf is being mean to me? Oh no. He's an evil dwarf. It's not very good. Can I... Th yeah, I'll just do that. Boom. I need to do that more. I think I need to do the rotten ones more than I can do the other ones. He probably didn't click the audience because he threw petals at this. Alright. Not sure anything could spoil such a wondrous day. Ah, oh, look, it's my cousin, the Proudfoots. Why don't you say hello, Uncle? Uh, uh wave? Uh, no. I don't even know if that was any- Should I just have the emotes up? That might be a good idea. Where are the emotes? I swear it's a thing. Or am I... Imagining? Oh no, it's like... Ah, here it is. Now can I make this smaller and have emotes up? And then we can have this. I'm not gonna... There we go. Now I'll click the audience again. But we do have all our emotes up here now. We can set it to only the ones we have. We'll throw it over here as well because... If we're going to have it, I want it to be on this. This is useful for my knowledge of what's going on. And this is useful. So this area here means I can actually see. It'll be like, perform an emote. And I'll be like, okay. So I think otherwise what I will do is I will uh, participate in another one. But do slash AFK off screen. And I'll just do the rotten stuff if I need to. And praise as well. 
Because I have a feeling that's not counting. After the feast, Bill and Frodo arose. Ah, speech. I don't have to. I hope I have to not do that. I am Bilbo, right? That's not good. There we go. Oh, I got title right. Start of the show. Yay. <laughs> See, there we go. That's how, that's how you do this. You just have your emote thing up. Makes it easier. I got five Lotro points. It's still weird to say Lotro points, but I got three of them. You completed, obtain this, yeah. So I might hold off, not hold off, but I might do these in the background. Um, potentially. Because, I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't have an announcement. I'm, I've, I took away the thing. I could just do, like, congratulations, cower. I don't know. I couldn't think of a thing to do, and I didn't have my thing up. And I thought I was done, as well. Ah. Uh, damn it. Though, to be fair, I can just still... I can fail and get through this. Stop. I think he's jumping because it means just nobody can <laughs> throw fruit at him. Uh. This is no, that's not. Damn it. <laughs> oh, dowels. I just realized I have that. Could have inspected a gem. That's the thing. Okay, I completed protagonist. Curtains are going to close. Reed Claw is going to be there still. And same with that dwarf. We've got another D completed. Or did that one just not disappear from here? Title awarded. Protagonist. Lottery points granted. Get us out of here. Stay in here until it says we have attended a performance. I heard the protagonist is a real icy personality. Why, thank you. Okay, so now we can talk to the announcer. Out here, it's gonna be a bit laggy because everything loads in. Crossbow Theatre, four points for that. That resets in 14 hours. I still think I can attend performances, I just can't get the quest, obviously. So that means I can get those uh, things behind the uh, well, the titles if we need to. But either way, that's basically the two quests here that we were not able to do last time, unless there's an interior. It says there's an interior quest location. Let's quickly check this. Apparently there's a quest inside. Otherwise what we're going to do is we are going to be ending off. It might just be the fact that it's like, hey, you can complete a deed here and that's why. Cause, or it might be the fact that literally you can uh, complete a quest in here. But yeah, I might do the concession stuff, uh, throwing the rotten fruit and the uh, flowers, whatever they are. What are they? Flower petals. Yeah. Uh, do those at some point in the background. However, I won't record it. Just to get the titles, basically, because we won't, don't get any XP out of it or whatever. Um, but yeah, those are the two quests that we wanted to do that we basically failed on last time. Well, this one we failed on and we weren't able to do, and then I learned sort of the best way to do it. And there were less people as well uh, doing it as well. But this last one as well, uh, the Frostbuff Theatre, last time we tried to do that, there was literally nobody in there. Um, I think it was maybe me and one other person, if not just me and myself. Um, so we weren't able to, uh, we didn't have enough people to actually make it happen. Because you've got to have at least three people, obviously, to have participating. And it's just nice to have some extras there as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. It's a bit of a longer one, obviously. Around 20 minutes, I think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.